Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Okay, I'm trying a different position. Obviously, my camera is still shaking, so I do apologize, but at least I have light. Um, so I wanted to show you some of the wallpaper that my sweet mother-in-law gifted to me. Um, some of this I may put um, some like wallpaper packs in my Etsy. Um, I'm not sure just yet, um, but that is a possibility. Um, but I wanted to show you some of what she gave me and then we are going to make some stuff with it. I'm sorry if you hear the gunshots. My boys are apparently out on the shooting range. So there's that beautiful one. So gorgeous, I love it. And then I think, I'm gonna hold that one off because I think there's some matching ones. This one is textured, it's just absolutely stunning. Look at this, how pretty, ah! Oh. So there, I'm gonna put that with that one. This is a herringbone pattern. Look at this one, ah, oh, so rich. This one is so old, it's not even funny. I have no idea how old it is, but it is very, very, very old, gorgeous. These are the ones that kind of go with this. I'm gonna set them over here too. And I love the monkeys, how cute. That kind of goes with that. And that one does. Look at this one. Love those colors. Love it, love it, love it. Then I love how rich and vibrant this one is. And then, let's see what else. Oh, this is like a linen almost. I'm making a mess. Because they're still wanting to curl on me. And I'm trying not to touch the desk because it's still shaking. So I obviously don't have that part fixed yet. Okay, so let me set these down over here. Okay, so then look at this. I love this. Look how pretty that is. Love it, love it, love it. Of course, you guys know I love the roses anyway. And then this blue one. So pretty. Um, so these all kind of go together, sort of. Not this one, but that, it was, that one's very pretty. So these kind of all go together. Maybe not these two. It's these right there, but look at these. How pretty are these? Oh my goodness, I'm loving them. I love these wallpapers and I've been wanting some for a while and then she gave these to me today. Look how pretty. I think these are just stunning. And I cannot wait to do something with them. So, let's see what we can do. Um, and so I have never worked with wallpaper before. Um, so I'm really not sure what exactly to do with it. Um, I think I will start by maybe making some um, like pockets for my journals. Um, what did I do with my roller? Okay, and I think I told you guys on the last video, um, I am going to do a giveaway. And we are going, I am, I am going to get some of the stuff together from my local Dollar Tree. Um, because I've had several of you comment that you don't um, get that good stuff like I do at your Dollar Tree. So I am going to put a package together that has like one of these in it, um, several different things like that so that you can um, enjoy some of that. And I don't know if it'll be one package or, you know, I don't know, we'll just have to see. Um, 
but definitely going to do at least the one drawing um, given away a package with you know several of the different items that I have picked up from my local Dollar Tree lately um, that is so amazing like this thing here um, so stay tuned for that I'm not sure exactly um, what we're going to do just yet um, you know, I seen Miss, I think it was Pam with the paper outpost. She done one with gussets today. Well, I say today, I watched it today. I don't know if this one is wide enough to do gussets. So let's just do this one regular. And I am going to fold this up. I'm just going to make a regular, like, seed pocket there. And I probably should have cut this off before I got started, but oh well. I didn't. You guys know me. And it's been a little bit since I've, you know, done videos, so I'm having to get back into the groove of it. Um. You don't do them for a couple of days, and then you, it's like you forget everything. I feel like I did whenever I was in, you know, school. We'd be out for um, summer break or something, and then go back, and it's like, oh, my God, I don't remember any of this stuff. That's how I feel about my videos right now. It's like, uh, what am I supposed to do? Okay. I've got that. And hopefully, you know... As time goes on, things will get easier out here. Um, you know, because I'm I still don't have most of my stuff out here yet. I've got a few things. I've got like my inventory out here. Um, I've got a few things like that, but I don't have any like my table or anything like that. Nothing, none of that's out here. So I am just having to make do with what I do have. Okay, and so I need to punch a hole in the top of this. And I don't know that it's going to want to do that wallpaper like that. So I'm just folding a piece of, it was a piece of trash. It was from where we had ordered Olive Garden the other night. And So I just folded it over. That looks pretty decent. Now this is a big pocket. I didn't realize that I was making it quite so large, but that's okay. I am good with that. And I don't know if this wallpaper, I don't know if it will take ink or not. So we're going to try it and it looks like it will. Yeah, I think it does. And I'm gonna go ahead and do both sides because I don't know if it's gonna be glued in a journal or if it's going to just be like a floating pocket type thing. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do both sides. Okay, so that's pretty cute. I like that and that was really easy. Lord than boys. I hope they're not driving y'all crazy with that, but they love to get out there on the range and shoot, so. All right, let's see. Let's do a pocket with this. Um, I don't know, I don't wanna lose that big flower. So let's see. If I do that one, it'll be sideways. I'm just trying to look and see what all I have that I can work with. Because I want to try the one with the gussets like Miss Pam did. This one might work because I don't think that pattern actually has to go up and down. We're going to say it doesn't. So I'm going to fold it over and I'm going to make it wider than what I want it. 
because I am putting the gussets in it. So I'm gonna fold it over and how wide? Probably a little bit about there. Now I need to decide, do I wanna cut all that excess off that's folded over or just leave it? It's really not much more narrow than that. Look at that. But we're gonna go for it. Um, let's cut some of that off. And I could have done it with like my pinking shears, but that's okay. So I'm going to glue that down. And you guys know, since you know, if you haven't crafted in a while and then you start back into it, it's like, oh my goodness. I'm, I'm just, I am lost. It's like, really? This stuff should be like second nature by now. But. This thing is amazing. If your Dollar Tree has one of these, you need to go get like 15 of them. And I love the feel of these um, wallpaper pockets. Oh my God, they feel so good. Okay, so let me see if I can do it the way that Miss Pam said to do it. She said to go right here on this spot, bend it in, and go about maybe half an inch or a quarter of an inch. Now she made it look so stinking easy. And look at here, I am like struggling like crazy. And she really made it look so easy. And I am really struggling, guys. Okay, but we're gonna do it. We are going to do it. Okay, so there's that side. I think that was a lot more than a half an inch or a quarter inch or whatever. So if I do that much on this side, we in trouble. But we just got a super narrow pocket. <laughs> oh my God, did y'all see how big that was and how little it is now? Look at that, but it did make a cute little pocket. Okay, so then we would fold this up and obviously we don't want all of that. So I'm gonna do like that. And then I am going to come right here and I'm gonna angle it right there. And then I'm gonna angle it there. And then all of this can go away. So I'm just going to cut that off or attempt to without completely killing my pocket. Oh, that's really cute actually. It really is. Looks like I didn't get that trimmed off quite enough right there. All right, so let's glue this down. I think this is so cute, actually. Thank you, Miss Pam. Okay, so we have that. And then for the top, how about if we fold the top down as well. So let's do that. So for right this minute, I'm just going to go right on the actual crease or attempt to go right on the actual crease as best as a blind person can. So cute. So 
are so, so cute. I hope I'm staying in frame. Now, I don't know. Look at that. Ah! Okay. I don't have a little punch right here. So... And that was not centered. Lord have mercy. So you want to try and center that whenever you're doing something like that so that when you cut it, it will look the same on both sides. And I probably really boogered it up now, but it's okay. Yeah, I did, but it's okay. And then with this, we can take and actually, I don't know if this will cut this wallpaper or not, but we'll try it. Actually, it did. This is my wonderful tag corner punch, and it is linked below. It is amazing. Look how cute, if except for that. But I mean, you could put all kinds of stuff in that. Wow, okay, I love it. All right, what else can we do with wallpaper? Um, hmm. I'm thinking. So let's see, we could make um, an envelope. We could do an envelope with this one, but do I want to back it with something? I'm thinking I might should because of that one being kind of thin. Do I have a thicker one in here? This one's actually pretty thick. I don't think it would have to be backed with anything. And so that rose looks like it will be upside down no matter what. So let's see. We do it like this. Okay. And then... We can fold it like right here. And then we don't need all of that. So we could cut off, say, like right about there. I am not going to attempt to cut that much with my scissors. There are some things I know that I cannot do. And so I'm not even going to attempt it. I am just going to slide it right here and cut it with my paper trimmer. Okay. Now. Oh, well. <laughs> now, do we want to put a gusset in this? Let's do that. So, I am just taking... This right here. And I'm just setting it on my little scoreboard. And I bet I don't have a bone folder over here. And I don't. So we're going to see how this will work. It's not. Mm. What can we use? I wonder if the needle on that will work. Yep, it does. The top of your needle on your Barely Arts glue works as a score tool whenever you don't have one available. Just an FYI. You know, you gotta do what you gotta do. So, it works fine. It gets the job done. Okay, so let me move this out of the way 
So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go right here. Oh, and that'll get rid of that um, black writing as well. So that works out good. So I know there's shadows and I apologize. So I'm just gonna cut down to there. And I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. I will get my um, ring light tomorrow. So hopefully this will be the last awful video with shadows or major lighting issues and I hope anyway. But I just wanted to bring a video to you guys and show you this wallpaper and you know I wanted to do some crafting and I really didn't feel like waiting. So I just jumped the gun and got on here without, you know, having all the proper necessary equipment. Okay, now there's a couple of different ways that we can do this. We can either glue it down like that to where it would be like the gusset, or we can take and wrap it around like that. I think I'm going to glue it like this right here. But before I do, I'm going to attempt to do a hole. Grab that piece of olive garden paper to go. And let me fold it back down again. And then I'm gonna put it like that. And then I wanna just try to center my punch as best as I can which we all know that I am not good at that, but it's not bad. How does that look? Not too bad. Okay, let's try to ink it. And let's see how it does if we ink it. So I hope everybody is doing well. It has been a quick minute since I've had a chance to chat and you know really catch up on things and see how you all are doing. Um, my fourth daughter, the one that is, she has the little cowgirl that's two years old and you know she's expecting another baby. Um, she found out that it is a boy so his name is going to be Weston. So that is very exciting. I cannot wait for him to get here. Um, my oldest son and his wife and daughter, they just moved. They're in the process of buying a new home. Um, but they went ahead and moved to the little town where the home is going to be located because he works, um, it's like night shift, but it's like two weeks on and then two weeks off. And I don't know, it's crazy kind of work, but he makes good money doing it. But, um, you know, the traveling back and forth was killing him. So they went ahead and rented a place over there. Um, for right now, um, while their home is in the process of getting finished. Um, so that happened last week, too. Um, yeah, so much is going on. So much is happening. And then this coming up weekend, um, some of my grandbabies from South Florida will be up. So I'll get to see them, like, Friday and Saturday, and then on Sunday, my husband and I, the 13th, we are going up to Alabama to hear the pilot family, which is Miss Melina with uh, Scrapbooking with Me. So I get to see my illogical mama, Miss Edith. And we get to be in service with them Sunday evening. 
So I'm really looking forward to that. Oh, that is so pretty, guys. Look. Wow. And I don't even, I mean, you could put like a label or something on it, but I don't know that I would even put much on that. Um, let's see, let's do one more little thing. This is another piece that can be um, either way. So we'll go ahead and do maybe one more envelope. But anyway, yeah, I am really looking forward to going up there and being in service with them. Um, so that will be on the 13th. And then we will stay up there that night and then come home on the 14th. And so, I mean, we're just, we're, we stay so busy and then trying to get moved and all. It's crazy, 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 crazy. But it is what it is. Okay. So, let's do our... Somebody walking their horse on, with the golf cart. I've had to make sure it wasn't my kids because we have been known to do that. Um, when our horses would colic, change of subject, you guys know how I am. Anyway, when our horses colic, or, you know, when a horse colics, you have to keep them up. You can't let them lay down. And it doesn't matter how long it takes, you have to walk them until the colic is over. Because if you stop, you know, they could, they're, they could die. And I cannot tell you how many times... We have walked horses using a golf cart or a tractor because, you know, it's been, sometimes it's been two, three o'clock in the morning and you're walking these horses and you're dead tired. But this just looked like, um, that looked like a little girl riding and looked like the parents, the little girl was on the horse and the parents were riding the golf cart beside them. So, yeah, it's definitely different living back out in the country, but I'm loving it. I did not think I would miss living out here in the country because I got, you know, I've gotten used to everything being right next door. You know, if I need to go get something, you know, I could literally walk to Publix and, um, but I am, I have to say I am enjoying being out here. So I do need a thumb pull in this again so here is our olive garden receipt again and let me pull these so i'll know where the center is so these are really fun to make i mean it's about like making it with the scrap of paper except um you know the the texture is just so much different but, um i like it I really like it. I didn't think I had folded that right. But it'll work. Okay. You know, it's just something different. It's not something I'm used to working with. So. Okay. Oh, that was easy. That was too easy. All right. Let me see how that looks. Oh, it's pretty close to the middle. Do we want to ink it? Let's ink it. Why not? Why not? So in, I think maybe it's tomorrow's video that I have it planned. Um, I am going to be doing some like, similar to this. It's paper bag type stuff. It's ephemera for junk journals, but it's using like the craft paper. Um, because I had purchased a huge pack of it for like two dollars, so cheap, and um, because it's the you know the craft paper, um, it's actually it's shipping paper. I apologize, it's shipping paper, but it's you know that brown craft look. Um, but for the price and all, I figured you know we can make some ephemera with that. We can put some labels and stuff on it. There's so much that we can do. Um, so that's what we are going to do. I think it's tomorrow's video. 
Um, there's just a lot to do. Um, I have not showed you guys the new setup yet for the for the store because it's still in progress. I do have my new shelves up um, with for my inventory, and I'm loving that. Um, I did have to order some more because I didn't order enough, but that's okay. So I'll probably show you guys all of that after the other shelves get here and I can get it all up because I'm still kind of sprawled out in the living room as well. And I do not want that. I want to just be in, I want my Etsy store in one room and then like my craft stuff in another room. And then I want the rest of the house to be house, you know, so, but right now it, you know, there's nothing I can do. Okay, guys, that is so cute. All right, well, I think that's going to be it because the shadows are pretty rough right now, but thank you guys for um, watching and, you know, crafting along with me. I appreciate it, and um, I will let you know if I put any of these wallpaper packs in my Etsy. And remember, stay on, stay tuned, be on the lookout for the um, uh, details and all about the drawing that we are going to be doing very shortly. And yeah, that's all I have for now. So talk to you later, guys. Bye.